so my CPU is coming around the 3 year mark, however my computer still feels super snappy. This makes me wonder though, how obsolete is the Haswell i5? See I can still play any game I want to, use Premiere Pro to edit all my videos without even breaking a sweat, and OS X still runs like a champ. Overall just a great PC. So let's run some CPU benchmarks and see how much more powerful the current Skylake processors really are. I have an Intel Haswell i5-4460 clocked at 3.2GHz. So first up is Geekbench. This is probably the most widely used benchmarking software and my CPU got a 3238 on single core and a 10307 on multi-core. The current quad core i5 Skylake processor clocked at 3.2GHz which in this case is the i5-6500 gets a 3694 on single core and an 11309 on multi-core. Now this 100 point difference or so really isn't that much, although it does come out a little bit in gaming but in the day to day when you're just surfing the web on chrome or whatever you really don't see this difference. This is because the CPU is never really pushed to its max when running everyday tasks like checking your email and such, rather the computer is slowed by other bottlenecks such as your hard drive. Now when a hard drive has been replaced with an SSD, especially a PCIe SSD, the playing field becomes a lot more even. This is actually why looking at benchmarks isn't really a good measurement of performance, since a lot of other factors can affect everyday performance. Nonetheless, benchmarking is useful to measure things like gaming ability, especially because this is a time when the CPU is really pushed to the max. This next benchmark is a little bit older and isn't as common but it's still good because it gives you a sense of raw ability. This is because the software makes your CPU calculate digits of pi and then times it. So my CPU did it in 10.235 seconds whereas the Skylake i5 did it in 10.35 seconds. Again, not much of a difference, but that's because thinking of how this benchmark is set up, it really is a lot more dependent on the clock speed of your CPU, not the processing ability per cycle. And since both these CPUs are using the same pipeline length, what matters is the number of clock cycles for this specific test. Next is Cinebench. This is another really popular benchmarking tool and this, next to Geekbench, will give us the best idea of our actual performance difference. So my CPU got a 523. Whereas the Skylake i5 got a 555. This is about a 6.1% increase, which isn't bad, but I think this all proves one thing. Haswell may be three generations old, but it certainly isn't obsolete. I'm still able to play modern titles like GTA 5 and 1080p with well above 60 frames per second. Now obviously that's a lot more GPU intensive, but even still, video editing is still a breeze. Now what I would like to see is for someone to build a PC with last gen parts, but since the price is lower buying more expensive components from that generation. For example, building a PC with a Broadwell i7 instead of a Skylake i5. If you have done something like that, I would love to see it. My name is Akil Mohudin, and I will see you guys later.